Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Circuit Tutorial. Now, let's make a DC bus converter step by step. Place the 555 timer IC, connect, pin 2, and pin 6. Then, Connect pin 4 and 8. Then place 1 kilo ohms resistor and connect to pin 4 and 8. Then connect the opposite to pin 7 and connect 50k variable resistor to pin 7 and 1 kilo ohms connect the middle pin to pin 2 and 6 then connect the third pin to pin 1 connect 330 ohms resistor to pin 3 and connect the opposite to the anode of the leg and connect the cathode to pin 1 then connect another 1 kilo ohms resistor to pin 3 and connect the opposite to the gate of the MOSFET then Connect the inductor to pin 4 and 8. Then connect the opposite of the coil to the drain of the MOSFET. And connect the source of the MOSFET to pin 1. Then connect the diode in between the coil and the drain and connect the opposite to the positive of the capacitor and the negative of the capacitor connected to pin 1 and connect the DC motor from the output then place the capacitor and connect one side to pin 2 and 6 and the opposite side connected to pin 1 then connect another 104 capacitor from pin 5 and the opposite connected to pin 1 Finally, place the battery and connected the positive to pin 4 and 8 and connected the negative of the battery to pin 1. Now, let's see the actual circuit on my breadboard. The input voltage is 5 volt and I'm only using a fixed resistor which is 10 kilo ohms instead of using 50k variable resistor. So let's zoom out. The voltage right now is 7.2 and keep increasing you can see the pointing still moving the input voltage is 5 volt and the output is 8.6 volt now the voltage is 8 volt 
and the pointing keep moving to reach 8.6 volt so this time 8.2 then keep increasing to 8.6 again I'm just using 10 kilo ohms instead 50 kilo ohms variable resistor now the voltage is 8.6 board so this time let's try 50 kilo ohms variable resistor so that we can adjust the signal frequency to controlling the voltage from minimum to maximum now you can see the pointing is moving so let's zoom out now the voltage is 11 increasing to third board and keep moving and let's see what is the maximum voltage this time the adjustable variable resistor adjusting to 10 to 20 percent and don't forget to watch my previous video how to make power inverter step by step by using again NE555 timer IC and I just put the link in the description below so the voltage this time from 5 volt to 17 board now you can see the DC motor connected to the output of the DC DC bus converter from 5 board to 17 board now let's change the inductor to 300 30 turns as you can see I'm using 330 turns inductor this time the output voltage will be 0 volt to 35 volt and you can see the needle pointing to 35 volt DC so guys this is the end of my video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share so thank you for watching my video tutorial